Right, we're off on a, another adventure. Well, if you've just joined this channel and you don't know who we are, I'm Bob, I'm Bob Earnshaw, and you're... Jenny. Well, Jenny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm Bond, James Bond. <laughs> and uh, we're, off, we're off to Culain. Um We're going to have an overnight stop at Englethwaite Hall. Which is Carlisle way, isn't it? That's right, yeah, just near the border, really. Yeah, we're actually leaving a day early um, yeah. because the, the weather on Friday when we would have been travelling to Culain is awful. Yeah, Absolutely very awful. heavy rain. So, um, thunderstorms, so, lightning. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to try and miss that weather. Now, if you'd seen our previous tour, you'd seen us in a little bailey. Um, 59 for Bailey Alliance. Alliance, thank you. Bailey Alliance 59 2. A tiny little van, under six metres. Um, and we're in our own van this time. And the contrast, I don't think, could be greater. No. I haven't dri driven our own van for about three weeks. And we've got, we've got towing a car behind us, towing our little VW up. Let's see that. Um, yeah. We've got two dogs on board, we've got all their paraphernalia, we've got an awning, um, we've got ground, ground sheets and chairs. chairs and my camera equipment, we've got about a week's food. Uh, so this van, its maximum weight is 4,250. I guess I'm probably close to four tonnes at the moment. It's pretty well laden up. Funny thing is, it's actually a bit more comfortable than a little Bailey Compact because it, because you could, it's more softly sprung. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but, but, but it I, doesn't accelerate as quick, or no. does it? No. Talk to the camera. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking, asking you the questions. What's so. that? Um, does it accelerate just as well, or is it? Uh, it, it goes all right. It's it, it's slower at higher speeds. Eh? Slower at higher speeds? Does that make any sense? No, it's slower getting to higher speeds. Yeah. That's what I think I'm trying to say. You want the M58? Yeah. I'm trying to remember which lane it is. It's not very clear here. No. There we are. So you'll... So, yeah, it, it's a complete contrast. I mean, the, the little Bailey felt... Well, it felt like a little delivery van, really, which mm. it basically is. This feels like a little truck. Yeah. Which it basically well, is. Which it basically is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought I'd share my thoughts of the contrast between having a small van and a big van. Because they are poles apart as far as coach built motorhomes are concerned. Well, that didn't last very long. So I'm here for a bit now. <laughs> Alright, just going to stop at um, Burton in Kendall, which is a, normally a good stop for. Uh, because there's plenty of space, especially when you've got a car on the back. You need a bit of space. So it's better for caravans as well. There we are, in the Lake District. Yeah, Cumbria. Cumbria. Yeah. There we go. Now, I was just thinking that um, when I had the Bailey, it was doing 28.8 miles per gallon, which I think is, is not bad. But I've got, I'm fully loaded up here, I've got a car on the back and uh, it's, it says on the dashboard, it says I'm doing 25.4 miles per, per gallon. So, yeah. Yeah. It's too bad, is it? Right, so watch out for the trace. caravan. We've got to go left, left here. here. and everything here. Yeah. Oh, no. We have to go out the end bit. Go out the way we came or we can see if we can reverse. Well, I don't know. Should we give it a go? 
we carry on to Southway. That's it. Trouble isn't. Uh, no. No, not no, good. Not good. Let's see if we can go around. Can you go around? If I can cross over there, I could. There's a road going that way, isn't there? But yeah, but I think it it's from coming out there, so it's not... No, it's not brilliant, is it? No. OK, the trouble with that spot there is you're sharing it with... Trucks. Trucks. Yeah. You can go on to Southway, because that's yeah, normally okay, a big we'll area. Then. So there's coaches there, yeah, there were coaches parked in that area. Well, there is a coach parking area, isn't there? So? Yeah, it's there, with yeah. no coaches in it. Right, on to the next one. Okay. It's lovely this stretch, isn't it? Yeah. When, uh, when the sun's shining. Yeah, I think we're going to stop at Tea Bay anyway. Yeah, we're going to try Tea Bay. And if we can't stop there? Uh, Southway, I suppose. <laughs> if we can't stop there? Well, just... Then we'll go on to the side. <laughs> Ah, here we are, T Bay. We'll give T Bay a go. So it's more road works here. This lane's closing 800 yeah, yards. Yeah, I know. Assume that's after when we turn on. Well, I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> T Bay's one of the favourite services. And there's a really good shop here, isn't there, if you go in into yeah. the shop? Yeah. And there's a dog walk, isn't there? Uh, dog walk, yeah. It used to be a campsite, but yeah. I'm sure That's it's still closed. open. It's closed, isn't it? Now? Yeah. Park next to that unusual looking motor. Yeah. Yeah, campsite's closed. Right, so it says caravans to the right here. Oat drink disaster. You can't call it milk, can you? Managed to uh, leave a half open, half empty um, bottle of, um, not bottle, a carton of milk. Oh, stop calling it milk. Oat drink. <laughs> In the fridge on the top shelf. And yeah. it emptied itself onto everything else, hasn't it? So. Yeah, and who had written open You'd on it? written open on it, and yeah. I, I hadn't noticed. No. And who hadn't closed it? Oh, well, that's possible. Yeah, possible so... Somebody hadn't... Closed it properly. Who was the last yeah. to use it? I uh, didn't... Well, yeah. well, I didn't use any this morning. No. So, no. I think it's your... You no, it's my fault, counseling, then. really. Yeah. Because, A, you didn't close it after you used it, and B, you didn't see I'd written open, so you put it on the top shelf. Yeah. So for that, you had to clean the everything in the fridge, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you used half a roll of paper, uh, kitchen tissue. Yeah. And I uh, got a full bin and a yeah. wet fridge. The, the lettuce was the best bit, wasn't it? Because it got it's an soaked into the lettuce. lettuce yeah. It, it had gone into that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that lettuce is so big it's like a football, isn't it? Yeah, it's only 50p though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a different thing to be towing, isn't it? No, what, sorry? It's a different thing to be towing. Yeah. What, what is it, a little... little well, it's, well, it's a microcar, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a Messerschmitt. Right. Or some sort of trailer. That uh, Sharon, we used to know, uh, had one of those, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Got it on a trailer. Yeah, the number of things you could tow with a motor. We saw somebody towing a tractor, didn't we, the yeah. other week? Yeah, yeah. There's trouble when you're towing as well. You come up behind a slower lorry and you can't overtake it because you can't get in the outside lane. No. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So they won't have many problems with uh, narrow 
lanes, were there or anything? No, no problems with narrow lanes there. <laughs> Even better than the up for that, wasn't oh, it? Oh, a lot better than the up, yeah. Mind you, would we all fit in that? <laughs> well, we'd both fit in there. I don't think um, Tara and... Uh, they'd have to go on a box on the back, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit too small. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. So we're coming up to our junction. saying the sat nav tries to send us down the A6. You yeah. don't want to go down the A6. No. But this is the junction you want anyway. You see, now the um, mile, miles per gallon on the van is 25.9. Uh, That's not bad, is it? Yeah. Considering we're fully loaded. Yeah. We haven't got any wind sort of pushing us back. No, we? it's quite still Very today. Very calm, yeah. Perhaps we're getting a wind from behind. Well, could be, yeah. Yeah, nothing like having a wind from behind, is there? weather all turn yeah. in the B6263 because if you follow the A6 follow the A6 it's um there's a really narrow bit isn't there yeah well you, you have to come to the site from the south don't you and it takes you through that village take the fifth exit onto A6 nope no nope, not going to do that without toilets isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. bring your own isn't it? Yeah. Site. Bring your own facilities site. Yeah. And I've we've used it in the past because it's been so useful for uh, overnight stops. Yeah. We tend, we tend not to do CLs or anything like that because it, it's the the hassle of booking them I guess. Yeah, this was very easy to you can, come forward a day. Yeah, you can do so, it online, you can yeah. change it. We've we changed brought it forward a, a day, we just did that online. Yeah. By contrast, when we were having to change Calais and thank you, we, uh, we had to ring up. And although yeah. I got an answer fairly quickly, and they, they changed it and they brought the dates forward, it's, it's always the thought, am I going to be held in a queue when your yeah. call is important to us and you'll be answered shortly. So I think it once, it took a, about half an hour, didn't it? We were trying to add a, add a day or something, for yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes their system goes off, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. So I honestly don't think the camping and caravanning club 
system is as flexible. You can book online, but if anything changes, yeah, yeah, I don't think they're like you changing basically. I no, that's the, no, that's the reason. But things, I mean, like we saw the forecast for the weather, and we thought, well, shall we bring everything forward a day? Um, you know, because we could, sort of thing. Yeah, there's, there's things like that. Yeah, you, know, and you, if it you was don't a... know that in advance, do you? That it was going to be um, torrential rain Friday morning here. No. And if we booked a CL, we'd be ringing up thinking, are we going to get an answer? And yeah, well, it's, yeah. Just it, it's just so easy. I've done, done it within about ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so not... people often ask us, why don't we use CLs or or pub stops even? Well, I suppose we could have we could have perhaps done a pub, pub, pub stop. A pub stop. If you could say it. <laughs> if you could say it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, we well, just like this side, actually. The only excuse to... Come here. It's very quiet. Right, that destination on the right, after half a mile. Yeah. You're very near the Scottish borders, aren't you, here? Yeah. I've come here for longer stays, haven't we? Yeah. came um, the last August bank holiday with it. Yeah. Famously put up the um, privacy room. Oh yeah, that's the right. One and only time last year, yeah, wasn't it? That's right. It's the last time we put it up, I think, wasn't it? It was, yeah. 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 A deluge with rain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember putting it up and uh, tying it down, and the water running down my sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yes. <laughs> So we brought the awning with us this time, haven't we? But, yeah, but the uh, drive-away awning. The drive-away awning. You arrive at destination on the right after 1,000 feet. Yeah, so we probably won't use the drive-away awning here, obviously, because no, it's just... Just one night. Just one night, but we probably will use it at Calaine, uh, because we'll be there four nights. And, prob and at Chatsworth, because we might want, need some shelter there as well. Yeah, we've got some... We've got some friends coming over to meet up, you know, Westy friends at, um, at Chatsworth. Hence why we're going back south. Yeah. Why we're, going, why we're heading back the same way we came. Came, yeah. This is always... It's a little bit tricky, this give, entrance. Yeah. We have met people, haven't we, on yeah, the coming corner up the, here. Yeah, coming down here. It's always exciting. There is a passing place here, so... Yeah, you can't see... Well, you can't see, I can't see, you can see, don't you? Yeah, I can see, fine, yeah, no yeah. problem. You have reached your destination on the right. I certainly have. <laughs> oh, we're in a queue. Oh, it's an autocruise. No, it's a Stargazer, Stargazer isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's, that was the model above the one we had, wasn't it? Yes, right, yeah. Yeah, it's about the same age as ours was. Yeah. Designated second home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Timothy. You don't need them, do you? Eh? Oh dear, that's a big sigh, isn't it? Anyway, you're happy to be here, Tara. Poppy's, <laughs> Poppy's gone in her favourite place, a little little crate, and Tara's in her favourite place. Yeah. Yeah, so we've arrived. Sound of the Tassimo doing its stuff. It's always a thing, isn't it? How are we going to get a satellite signal? I've got past the stage of really w worrying, worrying about, about it, to be yeah. honest. It's nice that we do, but uh, not the end of the world, is it? No. I don't tend to watch satellite TV that much now, do I? Mind you, it's the football season, isn't it? Yeah, so you like your football. And it does this um, switch checking which satellite's available. Yeah, so that's fine because it, yeah. you know it's okay once those other two top lights, lights have go gone off. Out. If yeah. they don't go off and yeah. it starts flashing them out the bottom, yeah. and it starts going... Bruh, 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 bruh. So that was one repair of mine that's worked. That's then. one, yeah. yeah. Number one success, yeah. That, that's my chair, you. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I replaced a bit of cable. Um, the cable, I think I said... Sorry. Thank you. 
<laughs> I think I said that the uh, cable had gone rusty in, um, because it had been exposed to the elements because Marcus didn't seal it up properly. So I cut back a load of cable, about three feet of cable, yeah. and put in another piece of cable with a with a cable extend a bit and uh, put that back. So hopefully we should have no further problems with that. So there's a number of jobs that I did on the motor, wasn't there, uh, yeah. whilst we were away? Yeah. Fix this blind, uh, rewired the feed to the screen for the rear view camera, because that was basically going across the floor. I'd put in a temporary wire uh, to, to feed it from a fuse box uh, when it stopped working, when we had the problem with the sergeant power supply about two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah. so that's been done. What else did I do? Um, you resoldered the speakers. Oh yeah, Re to take the cover off the door. Yeah, I had to resolder the the speaker wires because the autoglass man had to disconnect them to when he changed the window. Yeah, so I think that was about it. I, I painted the shed as well, that, so that earned some brownie points, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, I know what I did do. I, I fitted this. Excuse me. I fitted this. Oh, yeah, the awning. Awning winder handle. Always looking for a spot, so I've, I fitted it on the brackets that were provided. I probably should have done that probably about five years ago, so yeah. it gets it out of the way, out of the cupboard, yeah, and in a nice, neat spot. Yeah. So and if you need it in a hurry, it's not. You can very well, you, you know where it cupboard. is. Yeah. yeah. You can grab it then. As long as you remember to put it back there. Yeah. So I think that was about it. How many different positions can one dog take? Right, I was going to ask you then. <laughs> we've been talking as we've been going along. I didn't want to film it because we were forming our thoughts. Yeah. Compact van or fixed bed van? It's difficult because there are advantages to both. Yeah. I think for the sort of things we're doing, like going away for two weeks at a time, Yeah. Um, this sort of van suits us better because we can take most things with us. Yeah, we've taken an awful lot of stuff. We've taken, we? I think we've gone from one extreme to the other, isn't it? I mean, we thought with the little Bailey that yeah. we'd only take just the bare essentials. Now we've got back in our van, we think, wow, we could take the so, awning with us, yeah. the chairs with us. Taking the big the table, table. Haven't we? big table, four chairs. Yeah, four chairs. Oh, obviously um, the aqua roll and Wastemaster are coming with us. Yeah, yeah, they didn't come with us, did they? No, barbecue didn't come with us. We've got the barbecue. Yeah. Um... So we've just about well. I mean, I looked under the the beds and there, quite and there's surprised, chock a block you? with yeah with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that I think is the one thing. If we were using that long term, we might think, oh, we, we can't take this, yeah. we can't take that. It might limit us and the sort of places we can go in a funny sort of way because we probably think, oh, we don't really want to stay too long there because we'll need an aqua roll or. Yeah. Waste master. But then having said that, <coughs> there's no reason why we couldn't bring the car with us no, in, a, no. in a compact van. And you could put stuff in the inside the car inside as well. Inside the car, yeah. There's nothing in the car at all, is there? No. No, the car's pretty empty, so... Yeah, so we could put... I mean, aqua rolls and that don't weigh much, do no. they? No, no, they could put the barbecue Plus, in there as well, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly the awning, I suppose. I think one thing that does take up... A lot of room these days is the camera equipment. I've obviously got the laptop and um, and all the various the cameras and leads and mm. adapters and all that sort of thing. And that comes in a box, and uh, that tends to take up a fair bit of room. Yeah. The dogs have a take up a fair bit of room with both their crates. I mean, if we had the two crates in the Bailey, we might find that a bit more limiting. Yeah, it, it might have been. Yeah. I mean, obviously you. They stack on top of each other, so you yeah. put them in the chair. I don't. You see, one. What I liked about that Bailey was yeah. we went out in it most days, so we had a lot of meals out in yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think I was. You mean saying, eating in the van rather than meals van. out? Yeah. 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 I mean, well, I think I was saying to you as we were coming along, when you go out in that, you take your fridge, don't yeah. you, and your cooker and everything with you. Yeah. So you tend to get through what food you've bought. Yeah, because you've got it with you, and you you, have to you do, do go through the fridge more often, and you do do more yes. shopping. Yes, yeah. yeah, but in contrast to that, you 
if if you're going out in the car, you have to make sure you've made yourself something yeah. for lunch. Yeah. Or come back to the van. I mean, I suppose you you do things like that. It was just nice. We seem to really make use of yeah. what food we bought. Yeah. And yeah. All different meals eaten in in the van. Yeah. I mean, let me show you what got in the fridge here at the moment. Because it's it's quite a surprise how much you fit in in here, and I think that what we tend to do is we tend to use this almost like a domestic fridge. There's almost as well, it's probably more stuff than we we had at home mm. in here. I think it's it's roughly the same size. Yeah. I mean, our fridge and freezer at home aren't ginormous. No. See, we've got we've got croissants in there. We've got two loaves of bread. Yeah. We couldn't yeah. do that in the Bailey. No. Because it got no it got no freezer no, compartment tiny, like that. Couldn't even fit one well, fit one loaf. No. Could we unless no. it was not like that at all. Yeah, that's right. I mean it almost pointless having a freezer in that fridge, wasn't it? Yeah, I suppose you could put ice cream or something. You put in a, it. Yeah. But then because you've got the dreaded manual Yeah, forgetting to switch it on to gas. Sauce thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Which uh, I mean, when we stopped today, I found myself looking at the fridge yeah. again yeah. to check that it switched over. It was still on battery when, when we stopped. Oh, you were looking at it? <laughs> I'm looking at it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Because, you know, I tried to train myself while we were in the Bailey to check when we stopped. what stop, you know, what thing yeah. it was on. Yeah. And so I looked, it was on battery. Then I looked again because it allows, is it five minutes, ten minutes? It's, well, no, it... it uh, before it switches on to gas, it's 15 minutes. 15 uh, minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. The idea is... Oh yeah, I'll talk, talk to the, the camera. camera. The idea is when you stop with the automatic energy selection fridge, is if you switch the engine off, in theory, it could go on to gas. Now, if you stopped at a petrol station, the last thing you want is a spark. So what it does is it waits 15 minutes after you switch the engine off to put it on to gas. Now, that's OK if you, uh, you, know, if you forget... Um, about it and you know you're not worried but it does mean there's 15 minutes when the, the fridge is not cooling but it's not been a problem no, you know, we, no. we generally switch the fridge on and forget about it yeah yeah and that's the beauty of the fridges yeah because I, I look back at it it must have been after 15 minutes because we had that disaster with uh, your spilt oak drink yeah I? yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's and, still uh, a bit of oak drink in there but yeah um and I looked in there then, and the yeah. gas light was on. Yeah. And now, obviously, we've come and yeah. we've plugged in, plugged Connected. in the lecky. Yeah, and now the electric light's on. Yeah. 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 So you do tend to sort of forget about it, which makes you a little bit lazy, I guess. But I suppose that that was part of our problem, wasn't it? Yeah. We're so used to it looks after itself. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, we've we've yeah. got to check on it. Yeah. I mean, the one thing we we've you know we obviously we've got in this is the fixed beds at the back. So, you know, there's virtually six over six foot of room taken up in this whole van with with a bed. Yeah. You know, but it's not exactly wasted space, is it? No. Because oh, if you look underneath, obviously this one's got the the, the true the I'm gonna say true, the Audi heating unit. It's got the uh, drive away awning in it some cans of beer and various sort of mats and, and um, I think there's even a step ladder in there somewhere. And this one is chock-a-block with the Wastemaster, the cover for the front, the tailor-made screen, and four chairs and my camera gear. So that would probably be better if we had a garage because what puts us off a motorhome with a garage is you end up with beds that are way up in the air instead of being I can just instead of being at sort of mid leg height they're up here somewhere aren't they yeah yeah and you know it's it's climbing up ladders to get in beds yeah, and we're not fans of that are we no, no. Mm. I, mean, I don't think we normally would bring all those chairs and tables it's just we're we're entertaining well, I mean, aren't we yeah yeah and we're with people who aren't on the campsite. Well, they're not motor visit. owners, are they? So no, they're coming to visit us. So, so we've we, tended we to bring extra chairs. Yeah, they might bring some chairs, but uh, you can't. Well, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's only well, four of us. Yeah, but we couldn't bring any more. No, 
No. But, you know, at least we've got two extra chairs. Now, one thing we might miss, yeah. um, with that little bailey compared with this, yeah. is that cool air. What, the blower? The yeah. blower. Yeah, because there is no blower no. as such with no. this. You can't um, turn on, You can't turn the blower for the heating. There is a blower in there, which, in theory, you could turn on, but it does nothing anyway. No. Hardly no. anything anyway. No, so we might miss that if it, if it yeah. gets What we hot. did buy was a bought a, a fan, didn't we, last summer? Yes, which... We completely we, we, haven't we haven't brought with us. <laughs> it's about the only thing we haven't brought with us. <laughs> I think so, yeah. yeah. And I can't think there's anything else no. No. possibly forgotten. No. So in summary, what do you think? Did you ask me what I think? No, you haven't told me what you think yet. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you've got to make a decision one way or other. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> um, um, the moment I like having the fixed bed I think and yeah. the extra space but if it, we it, were, it gone if we were touring around a lot moving from site to site I think I'd like the Bailey because it was easy to pack up it was easy to yeah. move on yeah we are doing quite four to five night stays at places aren't we we are well, at the moment yeah. Nice. yeah on the this this sort of layout we've got here at the moment is probably best for continental type trips isn't it really where you're moving yeah. on a fair bit and see yeah. it sightseeing and you've got everything with you yeah i mean going to the uh the islands the at hebrides yeah was brilliant for doing that yeah. yeah apart from when we broke the window well yeah i know that did rather <laughs> dampen it a bit did, yeah it just spoilt it really yeah but yeah. we are going back next year yeah we are going to go back next year yeah yeah yeah, yeah that pops yeah so what did i think I, I really enjoyed the bailey i mean the highlight for me was the uh, driving it let me just get that straight uh, the engine makes such a difference the same engine that this van's got really and yeah. uh, it makes driving so much easier there's less gear changing basically but having said that this copes pretty well with near four, four tons of weight and a car on the back so getting on for sort of five tons of of movement with this and it, it goes along all right you know I'm not you know it's pulling up um, what's that the up to Shap the Shap Summit, it was pulling up there and we were going up there all right. Yeah, I didn't notice any, um, yeah. you thought it was, a van was a smoother ride. Yeah, I you? think it's a smoother ride because of the springing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't well, notice any rattle at all from my door. No, that autoglass man has fixed that rattle on there and that's another job on my list is to fix the rattles on this one. And I think the main rattle is where it's bouncing against the metal b bit here and it needs some some padding under there and what the what the autoglass man put in there was um foam um what do you call it double single-sided foam that they use to to fit windscreens with and i'll have to see if i can get some because it's like one millimeter wide and you can put it just on the edges of of the surround of the the blind and that really has made a difference to rattles on that side. Yeah, I didn't notice anything at all. No, no. That's, no. A, that's a really nice. And what, of course, what we're not missing at all was that creek. Yeah, there, there, there's no creek, <laughs> a creek Sorry, from that I sort of seen. area. Is it not? <laughs> that yeah. really was. But I mean, the, the the thing that was annoying about the Bailey was that the the cupboards didn't rattle. Um, no. The fridge didn't rattle. The only no. there's slight rattles from the the uh, the cooker, but other than that, it was pretty rattle free. Yeah, that's yeah. what was such a shame about that sweep. The, cr the creaking, yeah. The creaking. Or, yeah. 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 I mean, there is so much in this van. Everything sort of jumps up in the air, doesn't it, when you hit a bump? Um, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I thought with that little bailey, every time we went over a, a hump, you know, yeah. a speed hump, yeah, that something was going boom like that. I think it was the cutlery drawer. It, it possibly was because if you think about it, all the weight in the kitchen is, is at the back of the kitchen yeah. and it was acting like a pendulum type yeah. effect. I think, you know, we go over a speed hump and it throws the back up. Yeah, yeah, so that's 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 what I noticed with that, which obviously don't notice with this. No. But I have to say I did prefer that kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Easier to get in yeah. drawers. I mean, we're, we're not great fans of this we're carousel, not, are we? No. So. No, I mean, this kitchen is the worst feature of this van, we think. And we've, you know, we've had it five years. 
you've got a tiny bit of workspace there. We tend to put, you know, Tassimo and toaster there. You make a bit more workspace by putting the, the top down. But that's it. That really is it. And this carousel thing in here. I absolutely loathe this thing. With with an vengeance. <laughs> it it's it seems like a good idea, doesn't it, that you yeah. swing things round to get at them. The trouble is you can't see what's in every drawer. I've had to put towels in there to stop everything jumping up and down. Yeah, yeah. And rattling. And you've got another carousel down the bottom and you can't see that. And then you've got stuff under I there. I'm trying to get a pan out. I'm you know, so we tend to put the big pans under there and they're a real nightmare. I noticed the, the new uh, Besser cars have done away with the carousel altogether. Yeah. 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 They've just got drawers in there, haven't they? Yeah. But that, that was nice that you could get just get it pans and yeah. you'd get in the cutlery drawer and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, lots of things to like about the Bailey, um, and I think possibly when we get to about uh, time for retirement, we might be thinking uh, getting a smaller van, or even perhaps when we get to our seventies, we'll be thinking about a smaller van. Who knows? Who knows? When we what? get to retirement, when's that then? Well, we're, what we're no, I mean state from? state pension age. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, si we're both sixty three at the moment, yeah. so when we get. When we get to 66 then uh, maybe we'll think about it then yeah but we might leave it until we're about 70 and uh, because then we'd have to think about you know renewing the c1 entitlement out every year and I'm not sure i can be bothered with that and maybe you know we were our ch needs will have changed mm. anyway mm. we perhaps won't be doing as much touring might not even be doing youtube by then so no that's what i thought you meant when you said retirement i, I was retiring from youtube no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway. anyway we're, we're waffling here, aren't we? We are waffling. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this waffle. It's if a you different pick, sort of video. Different sort normal. of video, yeah. Yeah. Um, we just really wanted to, you know, sort of collect our thoughts on the differences, you know, between having a compact van and having a, you know, giant monster thing like this. <laughs> So anyway, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe and hit that notifications icon. And tomorrow we're heading off to Colain, so watch out for that video and we'll see you then. See you then. Bye then. Bye.